unregulated international trade is driving many shark populations to extinction. Approximately 100 million sharks are killed in commercial fisheries each year. Sharks are slow growing, um, they're quite late to reach sexual maturity and they produce very few young, so that makes them very vulnerable to overfishing. The good news is that world leaders are starting to recognise this. In 2013, under the Convention on International Trade of Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, or CITES, world leaders voted to regulate international trade of five commercially fished shark species and two species of manta rays. The poor beagle shark, the oceanic white tip, three species of hammerhead sharks, and two species of manta rays. Starting September 14, 2014, these measures must be implemented. This is the most comprehensive global effort we've seen in the 40-year history of the Convention to prepare for the implementation of a new listing. CITES is really the only way uh, that we have to monitor the trade in the fins of these species, which will be really important for saving them. From Hong Kong, to Fiji, to Sri Lanka, and all over the globe, government leaders are working together on how to properly implement the new shark listings. Together with the Sri Lankan government and the experts here in this room, we will discuss how we can implement the landmark CITES listings for sharks. It gives us much pleasure to see so many countries from around the Pacific participating in this workshop. We've seen deep involvement of countries from across all regions. And it's through this global collective effort that we will be sure that we can implement these new listings. I'm very excited to work with you on, on Fin ID. One of the tools they're learning is shark fin identification. Any border control personnel in the world can look at a fin in its uh, normally traded form and they'll be able to tell if it's from one of the sighty species or not. They'll be able to do this very, very quickly. We now have the tools to be able to um, accurately identify uh, the species. It's something I could take back home and use at home to help with implementing CITES. Through this uh, training, we know that uh, we can identify the shark and ray species under the CITES uh, through the inspection of the dried shark fin and uh, the ray gill plate. Even at the epicenter of the shark fin trade, efforts are underway to implement the CITES listings. Globally, 50% of the unprocessed fin import has been found coming through Hong Kong, so which means we are actually dealing with a lot of like shark fins coming every year. So this is the place actually we can do something. I'm very hopeful that CITES will be implemented properly here in Hong Kong. The border control personnel themselves are very excited to, to take this step for shark conservation and do their part. They're doing their part because sharks play a critical role in the economies of many countries. We really protect the sharks for our tourism industry, which is, which is the backbone of our economy. Pacific nations care very deeply about their sharks and I think it's, it's great to see that, that real care coming through in, 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 and being translated into action. We all have those same issues so we are facing them as a region. Already uh, we've seen that uh, um, the convention is, is helping to, to reduce demand for protected species and but yes we, we can do it. CITES implementation is doable and it's actually doable in such an important place. Regulating international trade in these sharks is critical to their survival. Implementation will involve some challenges to ensure that the trade is legal, it is sustainable and it is traceable. And it will involve practical challenges such as how do you identify the shark fin or the shark meat that is in trade. But by working together we can do it and we will do it. It's the first time ever that sharks extensively traded for their fins will effectively be protected through CITES and it's exciting to see that happen.